In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how revision history can help in creating a document. So once again, I am in my drive and I'm going to open up a document that I have that I know has lots of revision history. And to find the revision history for this document, notice how long it is. It goes down to 12 different things. And I show you that because I'm going to go over to File. And right here I can see revision history, which then appears on my right side. Now revision history is taken throughout, without you doing anything, throughout your creation of a document. Again, this can be a doc, a spreadsheet, a presentation, a form. All of these have the same thing. Now I might want more of a detailed um, I have this many revisions, but if I want to see more detailed revisions, um, there are far more, as you can see, that I can show. Now I'm going to go to an extreme to show you the difference. So I'm going to click on it. Oh, and I guess that way back then we had a blank page. So, okay, this is where I began way back then, or moving in and how it built. Now, how does revision history help you? Well, if you, instead of deleting or whatever, especially in more recent history, and by the way, to get back, I can just click on here, and I'm back to the, my most recent. But say you made some changes, you're working on it throughout the day, and you go, oh, you know, I really don't want what I've added. Well, then you could just go back to revision, and then you would click on, which I'm not going to because I don't want to restore to this older vision, revision, but you could click on that and it will take you back to where you were at that time and without having to delete and reformat and all the things you may have done in between. So revision history can be very helpful. This ends this tutorial.